Ghost Spectre, just like many of the other operating systems that I reviewed on my channel, is a stripped down version of Windows 11. This means it comes with no pre-installed apps, no bloatware, or anything that will hog system resources, meaning your system can focus all of its resources on the task at hand, whether that be gaming, editing, or even productivity. Lots of people speak highly of it. So Ghost Spectre is actually a YouTube channel they make these custom versions of Windows. We're going to be trying out Superlight. We're going to be installing it, setting it up, and seeing if it's any good for gaming, and seeing if you guys should switch to it out there if you're on a low-end PC. All right, guys, so to install Ghost Spectre Windows 11 Superlight, we need to go ahead and go to their website. I'll leave a link to this in the description down below. So yeah, this is the Ghost Clouds website here. It's a little bit confusing, but we basically just scroll down, and we're going to download the latest version, Update 10. And then yeah, just press download. And here we go, here's the media file link here. So just open it with WinRAR or 7-Zip or whatever archive software you use, extract it and enter the password. So the password should be in the description of one of their YouTube videos. And yeah, that's the right password. So that should now extract to my desktop. Okay, now we've got the ISO. We're gonna use our good old Rufus to burn this to my USB. Make sure you back up all the data on your USB because it's gonna be completely erased to make this USB. So just press OK to that warning. And yeah, I'll be back once we're booting into Ghost Spectre Superlight. All right, so this is very different. So we've got Ghost Spectre here. We've got some buttons down the bottom here. Restart, start menu, okay. Oh wow, that is really cool. So we've got some Windows tools in here. So we can go into AOME Partition Assistant, which I use quite a lot. We can make Windows to go, CPU Z. Wow, this is really good. I was a little bit skeptical as to why this operating system was three gigabytes just for the ISO, but that makes a lot more sense. We've got all these Windows tools here, which is really good. What's this? Explorer++ plus plus as well. We can look at all our files and stuff on here. But yeah, really cool background. This is probably the most edited Windows install I think I've ever seen. Okay, so there's various different versions of the Ghost Spectre operating system. So we've got Windows 11 Pro Compact. We've got Compact plus Windows Defender, which is the built-in antivirus. We've got Superlight, Superlight plus Windows Defender. Superlite SE and Superlite SC plus Defender. So SE basically means that they remove the start menu and instead use something called start all back. All right, let's just go with Superlite for now. This is without Defender, so we will have to get an antivirus. But since this is my second computer, I don't really care. So after that, it's a pretty standard install. And yeah, we should be good to go. So I'll be back once it's installed. So you can't change your username. That's just administrator. And you have to set a password. I'm not sure if you have to or if you can just... Okay, there we go. And here we go. Here is Ghost Spectre. Please wait. Okay, so I'm guessing it's doing all of its optimizing and all the stuff that it needs to do. So here we are on Ghost Spectre. So I still need to get drivers and stuff like that. But yeah, let's take a look at the start menu. Again, what is all this? Like, I was pretty surprised when Tiny11 came with all this. I know these are just shortcuts and so you can just right click, unpin them or uninstall them. But yeah, I would like to see them removed. Anyway, on all apps, there's nothing. There's pretty much nothing. We've got the File Explorer, Settings, Get Started, Ease of Access Tools, and Windows Tools. So yeah, I can't even scroll down this menu. There's literally nothing in all apps, which is really good to see. It is a little bit annoying about some of this stuff. So yeah, let's just go ahead and uninstall all of this stuff. But yeah, that looks a lot better now. So yeah, we've got our all apps. We've got all of this. This is really good. We've got no pin stuff in the taskbar. And yeah, the first thing I'm going to check out is called Ghost Toolbox, which comes pre-installed on every Ghost Spectre operating system. So yeah, this is basically like their little script here. So yeah, there's loads of different things you can customize your operating system with. You, you can install stuff through this script as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and get ourselves Mozilla Firefox. So to do that, you just enter the number that's on the left here. So that will be number 13. So just type in 13 and it should install Mozilla Firefox for us. And here it is, the Firefox installer. Now install it. So yeah, this doesn't come with Microsoft Edge or any web browser pre-installed as standard. There's no Microsoft Store either. So yeah, we pretty much have to use their script in order to get our web browser installed. All right, so our display drivers have just installed. So that's why my desktop looks a little bit different now. So you can install Microsoft apps through here as well. If you need OneDrive or Xbox games or any kind of Windows stuff here. We've got some other cool stuff as well here, like Disk Benchmark, Ghost Personalize, Windows Recovery. 
So yeah, this is a very gaming centered operating system. So probably a very good option for a lot of you guys out there. We can also install other stuff through here as well, like 7-Zip, Driver Easy and that kind of thing. And we can also tweak action center stuff through here as well. So yeah, this is a pretty cool little script here and it's very good that this comes pre-installed. I've noticed that the animations as well are disabled. So if I try and move this window around, as you can see, there's no nice animation or anything. It's just a box. And yeah, this looks like the task manager from Windows 10, which I haven't seen in a while. So let's go ahead and go up to performance here. As you can see, we've got 101 processes going on right now. We've got hardly any RAM usage, which is really good to see. And in terms of processes, we've got 20 background processes and about 78 Windows processes. So not bad whatsoever. If you're interested in what version this is running, let's just type in WinVert here. We are running Windows 11 21 H2. So it's not the latest version, but it's still pretty good. We've also got CPU Z as well, which has come pre-installed on Ghost Spectre, which is quite cool. So yeah, this basically just shows you all your CPU. I believe you can do overclocking as well from this, but yeah, I'm not gonna do that. And then we've got a nice shortcut to this PC as well here. Look at that, hardly any space taken up on my C drive here, which is really good. I'm not sure what web browser this goes to, yeah, see, Edge isn't pre-installed. And yeah, we just got the standard Windows controls and stuff here. We've got notifications, do not disturb on by default. We've obviously got Windows Update because that installed my drivers and stuff for me, so that's good. So you can change the wallpaper. It does come pre-installed with the default Windows wallpapers. So you don't have to run this Ghost Spectre one if you don't want to. You can just go ahead and change the theme real quick. And yeah, it just looks like the standard Windows 11 now. So yeah, I don't know what it is, but it just feels so snappy, this operating system. If I click on something, it opens instantly. I'm not sure whether it's because they turned off the animations and that just makes it feel a lot snappier, but everything is just instant. I click on it and it just works. It's so good. All right, guys, so I've just installed Minecraft on Ghost Spectre Superlight, and yeah, we're running the latest version. So let's see how it runs on this system. So yeah, this is a brand new version of Minecraft here, this whole new menus. All right, so we've just loaded in here and uh, it's quite laggy to be honest. I don't know what's happened here. Maybe we're just in a really weird biome. All right, so I've thrown up our FPS here and we're at, <laughs> we went to about seven FPS there, what? Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and turn down some settings real quick. These are just like the standard settings I'd normally use. And yeah, we're getting about 100 or so FPS, which is pretty good. Considering we don't have Sodium or Fabric or Optifine or any client on, this is pretty good vanilla performance we've got here. So if we go ahead and go to the task manager here while we're gaming, as you can see, there isn't really a lot going on. We've just got Minecraft stuff and yeah, still about 102 processes on there. So yeah, it's a really smooth gaming experience and uh, yeah, it should be really good for people on low-end PCs especially. And yeah, this operating system is probably going to be really good for people with low-end PCs, people that haven't got the best computer that any kind of background processes would completely destroy their performance. This would be really good for because there's no pre-installed apps. It's all pretty much just set up for you, which I really like about this operating system. I haven't really had to do anything other than just install it and straight away we're gaming and the performance is good. All right, so I've just loaded up Lunar Client here. We're on 1.8.9 now and our FPS is so good now. I saw we were getting about a thousand FPS there off camera. Can we get it if we just look up? Wow, look at that, a thousand, two thousand FPS. Wow, this is insane. So yeah, using a client or Sodium or Fabric on 1.19 will definitely improve your FPS a lot more and yeah, I'm really impressed with this performance, honestly. All right, so it's been a while since I've done some Hypixel duels. So yeah, this should be interesting. And I'm getting destroyed. Whoa. But yeah, I've been playing a lot of the later versions lately. So 1.8 and specifically PvP, I'm quite rusty at, which is not really that good, is it? Used to once be good at this game. Oh, he says that and he just gets an insane combo. Come on. Oh, that was clean. So yeah, I'd be interested to know what operating system you guys use in the comments down below. A lot of people, like I said, have been telling me to check out Ghost Spectre. So yeah, here I finally am checking it out. And honestly, I'm impressed. I'd say this is probably better than Tiny11. Tiny11 was a little bit underwhelming, if I'm being honest. But with Ghost Spectre, you get loads of handy tools in the installer. You get a nice little post-install script. It's just really good, to be honest. And uh, performance gaming-wise will be really good on a low-end PC. If you guys want to see me check this out on a low end PC, then definitely let me know in the comments down below. Ghost Spectre is pretty good. Make sure to go check it out. 
And yeah, it's really good to see Ghost Spectre as a YouTube channel progressing into operating systems that are helping out lots of people. So that's really good to see. So shout out to Ghost Spectre for making this really good work that they're doing. And I'll leave all their links in the description down below. Anyway, guys, thank you guys all for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know if you like these tech videos more than uh, what I've been doing on my channel recently. I've just been trying some different things out. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Peace.